I think Maze of Millennia is going to ruin this renaissance that the game feels like it's going through. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more OS content. Now, I'm, I'm going to be reaching here for a second, but I think with what Maze of Millennia is going to bring to a table, this renaissance of this ban list feels like that it's put on the community. It's going to ruin the game, and it's going to ruin all of this fun, all of this shenanigans that you're going to have because you're going to be kicked back to reality here, and you're going to have to realize, oh, crap broken cards are coming. So I just want to preface this and go, no, this isn't a doomer thing. This is um, making you realize that decisions on this list were inspired by the power of this set. So the biggest one that we got to talk about is your transaction rollback. Oh, did you, did you forget about transaction rollback? Of course you did. Um, you you look at Labyrinth right now, you're like, oh, there were no Labyrinth hits on that last list, all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Konami really wants Labyrinth to be the best deck in the room. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, Transaction Rollback is a crazy good card. I don't... Anybody, anybody around here? Um, anybody think that that's uh, not the case? Well, I, I understand that this is the thing but when you're looking at transaction rollback and you're like this is the most broken thing it's it's going to be a problem card yes you know labyrinth being able to spam multiple big welcome labyrinths is not very welcome by a lot of the community like that's all there is to it but when you get down to the nitty gritty of this transaction rollback is just a consistency upgrade for labyrinth all right so and uh, you got to think about that a little bit, you know. Do you just want Labyrinth just to be one of the only back row decks really floating around right now? I mean, sure, I'm 100% sure that you would prefer not to have to deal with Transaction Rollback. But, you know, Beatrice also, wait, why are you talking about Beatrice with Transaction Rollback? You know that Mayakashi Trap card? You know Transaction Rollback? There is a soft lock loop that you can do with this and it uh it's uh, not very fun not a lot of people really want to deal with you know the fact that oh no you know i i can lose to something just locking me out of playing the game yeah i feel like that's uh that's a normal in this game you know where you uh you don't get the chance to actually play the game yeah 100 percent um so Transaction rollback not only strengthens Labyrinth, it also opens up the door for some BS. Now, my other major question here is, is Virtual World can do the Mayakashi lock, and then Tier could do the Mayakashi lock, but we no longer really have to worry about Tier, you know? Tier just got cratered off the face of the planet, so now your only two major options, like I said, are Labyrinth abusing the, the loops of Big Welcome Labyrinth to put the additional pressure on you, and then making sure that, hey, you know, you can get bullied out of the game by everybody's favorite Mayakashi No Fun Allowed. Yeah, Transaction Rollback's a fantastic card for the game, right? There could be nothing absolutely wrong that... Um, that could possibly ruin the game. Hmm. No, couldn't be me. Um, I I don't know. If you're if you're excited about this, sure. But getting locked out of the game in a really really cheesy way is not exactly something on Bay's list. Now, uh, of course, we also get number one infection buzz king. And uh, for those of you that um. Don't know, this thing's two plus level eight monsters to make it. So another strengthening card for the power of Labyrinth. And then, uh, what's this thing do? Once per turn during your standby phase, you can attach one card from your opponent's graveyard to this card as material. Well, that means we're going to have to get this thing around to the opponent's turn, but hey, you know, a free suck up out of my opponent's graveyard is really good. And then we can only use each of the following effects this card's name once per turn. So if this card is Exceed Summon, we can look at our opponent's extra deck and send one card from it to the graveyard. Huh. Labyrinth, getting the ability to rip cards from my opponent's extra deck. Huh. And that's on Exceed Summon. So, okay. Uh, and then 
we can detach one material from this card, target one card the opponent controls, destroy it. And then if you destroyed a face-up monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that attack that monster had. That's uh, that's pretty big. Oh, and it's a fiend! How could we actually forget that this thing checks the requirements to actually get around our soft lock? Hmm. Labyrinth is eating pretty good here. Um, it, it's fundamentally... If you're looking at Labyrinth right now and you're like, hey, you know, like this, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a tier one deck. <laughs> when you're getting to, when you get a free extra deck option that you can access every once in a while that just blatantly helps your entire strategy. And then the fact that, you know, you get super turbo 9,000 gas going out here for the, the big welcome package. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good, you know. But don't worry, if you thought that we were done with the brokenness, Bonfire is coming. Oh, man, oh, man. I will be completely honest with you here. Year of the Fire is getting its searcher. Also, I guess sub shout out here before I get too far into this. Volcanics finally get their searcher. Yes, like the seventh best fire deck in the room gets the chance to do something, but that's neither here nor there. With Bonfire's release, you watch the consistency of Fire Kings bump up to their next level. And as Fire Kings grow and grow on the meta scale here, you need to be fully aware that this deck is going to start to twist and turn. And this is just the beginning. All right, you got people over here in the corner that are upset about Labyrinth. Well, what happens when suddenly you're dealing with the terrors of Fire Kings blazing down on you? Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a pretty big thing to be a little bit more uh, functionally aware of out here. Um, overall, Maze powering up the Fire Decks. It's not going to be a crazy early feel on the meta, but it's going to be enough that players are going to look at everything and they're actually going to genuinely be shocked by the differences that a three of Rhoda can have on the game. Also, the Rescue Ace consistency upgrades somewhere along the way if you choose to incorporate stuff that can actually use the Rhoda. Um, that's neither here nor there, but... Year of the Fire, ah, just so good. Um, actually, a bonfire only strengthening most of the fire decks is a good thing. It's not all of them, but it's enough that you've got to worry about Fire Kings evolving into their next stage. So uh, what else do we need to worry about out of this set? Because you do have those, uh, back to the, uh, the pack art, you did see, yes, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Flame Swordsman support. That's in here. Now, if anybody remembers the flashback to the Gate Guardian support, where, you know, we were we were super hyped about the Gate Guardian stuff. It was all super low rarity, um, which was good, all right? Like, I, I'm not going to take that away from Konami. The fact that they were able to successfully port over and make a TCG exclusive archetype of the Gate Guardian stuff and feed it to the community all in low rarity... That's good. That that's a win. I think they're going to replicate that formula of success this year. Um, they're going to want this flame swordsman stuff to be low rarity and have the community be able to buy a couple of packs. The casual player be able to get this. Meanwhile, the the competitive player is going to have to, you know, reach up to the top shelf here and go, oh hey, you know, I need to be able to get these cards so I can play the game. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit of a struggle bus for some of this stuff. Um, but this set, the, the piece that you're feeling right now, the excitement of the new format, it's going to very quickly start to power creep itself. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be very, very shocked and very, very shook when they start to play this meta. And they're like, oh, transaction rollback, virtual world, pff, easy matchup. And then they get turn skipped. And they're just going to be like... Wow. Can't wait for that. Leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons.
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.